patients aged 12 to 17 using two-dose combination of direct-acting antivirals, so fosfovir and lidipasvir, in the treatment of chronic hepatitis C in children. Uh, these were genotype 1 individuals with um, a mean BMI of 23 and up to 37. They were vertically acquired hepatitis C typically and had about a 6 log of hepatitis C RNA. The treatment was for 12 weeks and the endpoints were safety and efficacy. Uh, the drug was very well tolerated and, uh, and I'd be happy to speak to that more. The efficacy showed that at 12 weeks after the end of treatment, 98% of individuals did not have detectable virus. And uh, quite frankly, we believe that could have been 100%, except two children were lost to follow up, and therefore no virologic results are available. Tolerability was excellent. Clinically, 71% of children, 71 children, did have some clinical, um, what we call adverse events. But the ones that occurred in more than 10% of the population were symptoms that are typically seen in children uh, from uh, other illnesses, such as cough, diarrhea, congestion, things like that. There were no serious adverse events, no adverse re events required discontinuation, and no were, none were considered grade three to four, which is significant. Same with laboratory abnormalities. There were nine individuals that had laboratory changes that met the criteria for grade three to four, but only one occurred in more than one child and that was a transient elevation, very asymptomatic of amylase in three children. This is a very potent drug combination, at least for the treatment of genotype one hepatitis C. Uh, the treatment is not only tolerated, but it's very easy. It's only 12 weeks in duration with so far sustained virologic response that is obviously uh, spectacular. And it would be a pity, really, to not make this treatment available to children who uh, could benefit from it with the correct genotype. There are studies going on now in younger children under age 12 down to age 3, as well as other genotypes. So it is our hope that we will have comparable treatments available for all children with hepatitis C. And in terms of regulatory and coverage implications, uh, what do you see happening there? Yeah, that's a very important question. So the, uh, these are very uh, expensive medications. Uh, they, the companies have uh, very um, ethically dropped the cost in, the develop in developing countries where, where the economies are more challenging. Um, but the expense is really quite prohibitive for many adults in whom these drugs are approved and certainly uh, are expected to be prohibitive for many children. Uh, what we find is that insurance companies, because of the cost, are at least hesitating, if not refusing, to pay for these medications uh, for economic concerns. And the, uh, the expectation or the thought that they would only treat those individuals with advanced liver disease as a pediatrician, um, I feel is morally inappropriate. These children should be treated in only a few months we can do that successfully before they have significant or irreversible liver disease. I certainly do not work for these companies, but it is my impression that that is their intent, that they expect to take these data to the FDA for approval and hope for relabeling to a younger age group. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm hopeful that that will help sway the uh, willingness um, and really need for insurance companies to support these therapies.